Crashing over the clouds and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your very friends. Stinky and Shake! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> How are you little animals out there? I'm Stinky! And I'm Jake. And today our very special guest is going to tell us all about birds of prey. Yep, here I am. I got my pictures, all the information. I'm your resident birds of prey expert. Let's oh, get started, uh, shall we? Armstrong is the guest. Great idea, Jake. <laughs> well, no, no. Uh, actually, Armstrong, you're not today's guest. <laughs> huh? uh, well, see, I already invited a big celebrity to be our guest today. You, you did? Yes. Uh, who, who is it? Well, uh, none other than that famous star of television and movies, Sam the Eagle. Mm. Who? Oh, well, trust me, it's a real honor to have him here. Gee, I uh, guess I'll just go back to doing my little uh, part on this show. Uh, uh, getting any credit whatsoever, really. I don't understand what I do. Oh, but, well, this uh, eagle better uh, be good, Jake. Oh, stink. Oh. Come on, come on, Armstrong! All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, and now it's time for... Oh, that's amazing! Oh, boy. Today, we're looking at the incredible eyesight of the eagle. Man, yeah, whoop de doo <sighs> Come on, Armstrong, hmm? listen to this! Hmm? Because of its Ow. exceptional eyesight, an eagle, like this Pharaoh's eagle here, can see objects from far away. Even though that grasshopper is small, the eagle can spot it from more than 100 yards away. The incredible eyesight of the eagle. Ah, another animal fact I knew, but nobody bothered to ask me that'll make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! You know, Jake, I think you really upset Armstrong. Oh, uh, well, I didn't mean to. I thought he knew I'd already invited Sam the Eagle to be on the show. Oh, well... I guess we should give this Sam a chance. Thank you, Stinky. I think you'll be very impressed. You see, mm. Sam is a bald eagle, and that's the mm. national bird of America. America. And here he is from sea to shining sea. Please welcome Sam the Eagle. This seems to be the proper location, the animal show. Hmm. What an unusual name for such a serious news program. Good day, gentlemen. Uh, good day, Sam. It's an honor to have you on the show. Uh, yeah, whoever you are. Uh, likewise, I'm sure. Now, shall I begin by discussing the decline of standards in schools or the lack of integrity in our political system? Uh, uh, maybe later. Uh, but now we'd like you to tell us all about how the bald eagle lives in the wild. The wild? Oh, how appalling. I am opposed to anything that is not civilized, decent, and cultured. But isn't the bald eagle a great American bird? Well, now that you mention it, the noble bald eagle is the symbol of all that is good, honest, and American. What a beautiful bird. The bald eagle is so powerful and impressive. Yeah, it's too bad he lost all his hair. Stinky. I beg your pardon. We bald eagles are not actually bald. Well, if that's too bad, it's not a very good one. Is he always like this? Always. Stinky, bald eagles got their name because the feathers on their head turn white when they're four or five years old. Hey, how come this eagle is sitting on a fish? I have absolutely no idea how humiliating. Well, isn't that the bald eagle's dinner? I wouldn't know. I just eat leftovers in the microwave. I thought bald eagles were great hunters. Well, I do look for bargains, if that's what you mean. Uh, actually, Sam, I think he's talking about the way eagles and all birds of prey swoop down to catch their food. Uh, uh, swoop down to catch their food? We do? Yeah. This is a bald eagle hunting its prey. He dives down, extends his claws to grab the fish, then he flaps his wings hard to head back to his nest. Cool. Let's see it again. Dive, claws, flap, and fly, and then back to the nest. Cool. Cool indeed, Stinkle. What a magnificent chap. Dignified, a true example of moral rectitude. Sam, I've always wondered, where exactly do eagles live? Well, I have a small bungalow just south of town. Why do you ask? B but I thought that bald eagles lived in nests. Nests? You mean a disreputable pile of sticks on a tree? How untidy. But Sam, I've been told this is the kind of nest most bald eagles live in. Well, uh, those without credit cards, yes. Hey, what is that eagle doing? 
making a terrible racket, if you ask me. I beg your pardon, you two. Could you please stop making that annoying sound? Uh, Sam, if I could just interrupt again, that sound is the way bald eagles communicate with each other. That's how they let other animals know that this is their territory. Well, I think it is inappropriate behavior for a bird who is a national symbol of the United States of America. But Sam, living in nests and making noise is all part of life in the wild. And I want no part of it. Thank you, gentlemen. I have enjoyed some of your program, though most of it I found thoroughly appalling. Good day. But, well, now what do we do? I don't know about you, but I'm going to watch uh, Baby, Baby Talk. Talk. Hey, watch this, son. I'm watching you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> fish for lunch? Wow. I don't know if I like fish. Do I? Do I like fish, Dad? Do I like it? Of course you do. You're an African fish eagle. Oh. Here, try some. All right. I, I, oh, uh, sorry, I missed it. Uh, not to worry. Ah. Mm, 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 mm. Got it. Mm. What do you think, eh? Mm, this is yummy. Mm. You keep eating like this, and you'll be a big African fish eagle like me in no time. Oh. Uh, you, you know, Stinky, we've got a problem. Oh, yeah? And well, now that Sam the Eagle has left, who's going to tell us about other birds of prey? Oh, gee. Well, there must be somebody. <sighs> hey, uh, how's it going there, fellas? Oh, hi, Armstrong. Hey, Armstrong. Hey. Uh, let's see. Uh, birds of prey. Who yeah, knows about birds, birds of, of prey? prey? Birds of prey. Oh, oh Brenna. Mm. Don't have any idea. Are these guys slow on the uptake or what? Maybe, buddy. Well, I'm waiting for them. Why don't you check out these birds? Suppose you're a hunter, but you're three foot three. You can't climb a wall and you can't climb a tree. Then imagine you had wings and climb in the air. It's amazing what you'd see from way up there. You can do it, you can do it, you can hunt from the sky. A mouse is a house from an eagle's eye. He can see it, he can see it. No trouble at all. Don't be fooled, cause you're not that small. Soar and climb There goes something that something is mine Down you swoop in a silent dive They don't hear you come until you just arrive You can do it, you can do it You can hunt from the sky A mouse is a house from an eagle's eye He can see it, he can see it No trouble at all Don't be fooled Cause you're not that small Reporter getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Ma'am, yes? can you tell me which of the following birds is not a bird of prey? Bird of prey? Where, where, where? Is it the snail kite, the goshawk, the Egyptian vulture, or the Galapagos hawk? Your answer? Are you kidding? I'm a mouse. I know birds of prey. One minute you're there, the next. You're up in the air! I'm going someplace safe! Oh, yeah. Good answer for a mouse, but not for us. The bird that's not a bird of prey is... The Egyptian vulture. The Egyptian vulture does not hunt for its food like birds of prey. It scavenges for food killed by other animals or that has died naturally. This Egyptian vulture is trying to use a rock to crack the shell of another bird's egg. Her aim has something to be desired, but she does get an E for effort, or for Egyptian vulture. The bird with the darker feathers is a young Egyptian vulture. As you can see, he has managed to hit the egg with a rock. The egg, however, remains unbroken. This is Rhonda Rat reporting on the Egyptian vulture. Back to you, Stinky and Jake. <laughs>